ini ang GMA Regional TV Early Edition. May December love affair kung tawagon. Pagigug maanay isang duwa ka mga tawo nga ginpatungan sang dako nga diperensya sa pangidaron. Hindi na gidman tumalag sa hon ang sitwasyon apang madamo sa gihapon ang hindi sini makabaton. Sa duha nga imbulbado sa sini nga sahi isang relasyon. Ano ba lang atraksyon? Ano ba lang nga sahi isang paminsaron ang kinahanglan sa pagsulod sa sini nga relasyon? Mga puso, mangin kaupod naton subungaga ang presidente sa Negros Occidental Guidance and Counseling Association Incorporated kag the same time founding members sa CARE, Psychosocial Support and Consultancy Services sa Bacol City para ipatag sa aton kag sa aton mga pinalangga ang matumalan aw kun nga bala nagakatabo ang May December love affair bow aga pa no Let's all welcome mga kapuso our guest this morning registered guidance counselor nga gikan sa Bacol City si Dr. Calvin Dave D. Ganob. Hi Doc Dave, good morning and welcome sa Jemmy Regional TV Early Edition. Kumusta Doc? Okay great sir Adrian and good morning. Thank you for the invitation. Doc first question Ang ginatawag bala naton nga May December love affair ba? Very controversial sang aton nga topiko sa bunga aga. Very controversial gid kaayo dok, especially sa setup diri sa pungsod Pilipinas si lover boy who been while ang babae naman bao dekada ang antad in love and in psychology is this normal dok? Ah uh, yes, when we talk about May December affair, it's just but a normal type of relationship, Sir Adrian. No? Mm -hmm. In fact, when we say May, it connotes youthful. No, when we say December, it's more of the older adults. So there are already existing a lot of relationship in the Philippines of this May December affair. No, the young men getting engage or getting in relationship with the older women, and this is just but a normal type of relationship. Kung uh, ikaw ara sa siningasahi sa love affair, anong imo dapat mangin mindset? All right, so you should to be psychologically ready, not to embrace this relationship because people will always make comment out to this. Remember, we Filipinos, we always comment. If we do good, they make comment. If you do bad, they will make comment. Yes. And even doing, they will always make comment. So what's important is that you are ready to engage in this relationship. You don't care what other people will say. But you also nurture that love, patience, and understanding, and of course, respect for each other. Ah, wala pili sa idad. Ang importante makatibawa sa kapigadohon. Most of the time, love isn't even part of the equation, right, Doc? Yes, there are realities also. No, mga meal order brides, no, because they wanted really to somehow increase their social economic status, no, because of the financial gain. But basically. Aside from that, Tani, it's really anchored on on love, respect, and understanding. Mabalik kita no that sense of commitment. Secondary na lang money, if ever that is the case. We Filipinos are very clannish, and we have this culture nga dapat the same age no, and dapat amoni ang mga perspective sa atong ginikanan because we always make sure nga part sa atong decision atong mga parents atong mga relatives we honor them but yes. basically at the end of the day in the final analysis it is you who will really decide for yourself no you just listen to them consult them but it is you who will decide at the end of the day and every relationship there's always a risk mm -hmm. no so dapat mga man kita do research to make sure nga oh. this person is really uh, capable of loving you, accepting who you for who you are. But again, gabalik lang yung sa element of love, no, uh, Sir Adrian, on yes, commitment, no. loyalty, respect, and trust. Ano nga aton panugyan kag panawagan sa mga persona o kung uh, mga tao nga ara na sa siningasahi nga set up? All right. We don't judge them of their choice of being in their relationship because they wanted to better their life. But what's important is that as the process, they are not also taking opportunity. But they should always go back to the premise: Why did you engage in this relationship? So go back again to ya. Sang imo mga rason nga nagintra ka sa amo ni nga relationship. What the researches is telling us: May mga advantage kag disadvantage. Kung galayong ang gap sa isa kag isa, may tendency nga ga break man ang relationship but it mm. always depend on the person again on how mm. they will handle such risks such mga stereotyping that you have heard from yes. other people 
Gusto ko mahibaluan, ano naman ang mga nagkalain-lain ni Advantages kung ara ka sa sininga-sahe isang paghigugmaanay. Alright, so if you have a partner who is older than you, then we are expecting that they are more mature, they can think well, they can take care of you, and maybe they are stable enough to really uh, ensure the, your day-to-day -day needs. No? So kung ikaw naman ang younger, hindi ko makaka-intrakad ako, hindi maayok, hindi maplastar ka na yan. But what we're saying here is that the relationship should not be a venue for you for abuse as no one has the right to abuse you unless you permit it. Dok, pahabol na lang gina, last na lang gidok. Ikaw bilang eksperto sa psychology, sa counseling, kang eksperto man sa paghigugma sa mga relationship, Dok. Do you personally believe that in love, age, after all, does it matter? Okay, sige. So, age doesn't matter after all, but your connection does. Mm. So, it's how you connect with the person. Once again, mga kapuso na mo sa Bugusi Western Visayas, ang atong bisita, Dr. Calvin Dave Ganob. Dok, madam, magisalamat. God bless you. Thank you and good luck. Mga kapuso, bottom line, sang sininga pa niya sa higa setup. Pag-insidihan na yung sa tunga sa maghagugma. Kag sa publiko naman, panawagan ang paghangob, kag pagrespeto. Bangod after all mga kapuso, love is different from one person to another.